No time to waste. Uh -oh. uh, sorry, Spike. Uh, no time to make your life miserable. Today's the day they announced the prize winner on my favorite television show. You. Oh, uh, <laughs> I guess I can spare a few seconds for a good cause. Well, I uh, wouldn't want anyone to get the wrong impression, like uh, I was getting sick or something. Come on, Heathcliff. Give me a... <laughs> <laughs> that didn't take too long. I still got time to catch the end of the show. Safe at last. Wow! <laughs> What the? Oh, no. Huh? What? Where is it? Somebody stole the TV. Looking for the television? It's upstairs with Iggy. Iggy's sick in bed, so we brought him the television. Hmm. It looks like you need to get plenty of rest, Iggy. Is there anything I can get for you? I'd like some chocolate ice cream, some comic books, and a piece of pie. You just rest here, and I'll get you everything you need. Yeah! And those are our winners this week. If you didn't win, don't worry. We'll be back next week with more great prizes. Oh, swell. Just swell. Sorry you missed your show, Heathcliff. I have to have the television in my room because I can't leave my bed. Hmm. The kids got it made. Thank you, Grandma. Obviously, if you want to get pampered around here, you have to be as sick as a dog. Or a cat. Iggy, are you sure you're well enough to be out of bed today? I feel much better. And my fever is gone. This looks like the perfect time to go into my act. Oh, 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 oh. Heathcliff! Oh, 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 oh. Heathcliff, oh my, he's sick. Oh, 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 oh. He doesn't look so sick to me. How can you say that? Can't you see the poor cat's in agony? You poor dear. Let me take care of you. <laughs> you get some rest, Heathcliff. We'll take care of you. Sometimes I'm so smart I even amaze myself. <laughs> now to flip on the TV and relax. Yeah, this is just what I needed, a vacation. Heathcliff, I brought you some goodies. <laughs> there, there. I hear our boy Heathcliff is sick and out of commission. I'd say now's a good time to pay him a visit when he's too weak to give us any trouble. While Heathcliff's sick and bad, we'll fill him with dread. 
Maybe this food will make you feel better. <laughs> this is even better than I hoped. I'll be back to look in on you a little later. Ah, this is the life. Come on. You gotta be careful. If you don't lock the windows around here, the wind will blow anything in. Aw, does the mighty Heathcliff have a cold? What a shame. <laughs> well, here's to you, Heathy. Heathcliff sure is a sight, and much too weak to put up a fight. When will you three ever learn? When it comes to a contest between us, there is no contest. Oh, this is fun. Running out of steam, huh? Happy landings. Perfect shot. You guys should feel right at home. <laughs> oh, and thanks for coming to visit me in my hour of need. <laughs> and I thought he was sick. Well, I'd hate to see him when he's feeling good. That's funny. I thought I heard a commotion coming from in here. Oh, oh. Oh, you must have been delirious. You poor dear. I'll leave you alone to rest. Heathcliff's sick, and it isn't even a holiday. So you're sick, are you? On behalf of the other mice and myself, I'm presenting you with a list of our demands. First, no chasing us on weekends. Second, we want kitchen privileges evenings after 9 o'clock. So these are your demands, huh? <laughs> Would you believe we crusts? It looks like you're off the hook this time, little mouse. Now for a little exercise. It keeps the muscles loose. One mouse, corner pocket. Uh-oh. I'd better get ready to moan and groan. Oh. 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 Any change in the way you're feeling, dear? Oh. Oh. oh, oh. He's still not better, huh? Well, I guess we'll have to take the bag of fleas to the vet. I think you're right. He looks even worse than he did when he came into the room. Come on, Heathcliff. I'm sure the vet will be able to make you better. That's so very brave, Heathcliff. You're trying to disguise how sick you really are by pretending for us. I never knew he had it in him. Iggy, you call the vet. I'll go warm up the car. Okay. Hey, hey what went wrong? All I wanted was a little pampering. And now, the vet. Every time I go there, I get treated like a pincushion with a tail. Oh, yeah. Calm down, Heathcliff. This is for your own good. I wonder how that happened. I should have guessed. The doctor will see you now. First, I'm going to test your reflexes. Good reflexes. <laughs> Wait till he gets a sample of what I had for lunch. Breathe normally. I told you to lay off the sardines. 
<laughs> I see what the trouble is. Heathcliff has tickliosis. But don't worry, I have something that will take care of it. This shot should have you back to normal in no time. I don't know how you did it, Doc, but Heathcliff sure seems to be full of pep. Yeah, he's back to his old normal self. This is normal? A romantic evening, Riff Raff? Actually, this is what I had in mind. Now that's my idea of romance. A boat ride in the moonlight. Hey, you asked for romance, you got romance. Well, Cleo, what do you think of it? Why, it's a boat from the Tunnel of Love. And that's exactly where we're headed. Uh, sort of. Your move, Hector. I'm thinking. Don't strain yourself. Hey, man. Going for a float in the boat? You got it. Cleo and I are going to make the scene in the sewer. Try to stay out of trouble, huh? Ain't no trouble. Life's a bubble. I'm thinking. Hector? Thinking? Boy, what's the world coming to? On a romance scale of 10, this is about a 9.5. Get ready. Here comes a perfect 10. Oh, soul of me, oh. Oh, soul of me, oh. Yikes. I go away for a couple hours and somebody steals my boat. I was going to sail around the world in that boat when I retire. I don't know what those cats want with a boat. But I'm going to scuttle their plans. Wonder Dog, away! Uh-oh! What did you flea bags do with my boat while I was out visiting? Uh, what would we want with a boat? No lie, we like it high and dry. Bye bye. <laughs> then Riff Raff must have the boat. He'd do anything for Cleo. We better go tell Riff Raff what's going on. Some girls get ocean voyages. I get a guided tour of a sewer. Yeah, the sewer wouldn't be nearly so romantic if you weren't here. Hey, Riff Raff, wait up! What can those guys want? Hey, man, Leroy's after you for stealing his boat. I didn't steal it, I borrowed it. I heard that. That's a likely story. This time, you've gone too far. Faster! Faster! All hands on deck! Looks like piracy on the high sewers. I gotta go save my mates, Cleo. Take your time. I'll just stay here and guard the boat. Sure. What's a romantic cruise without a boat? Yeah! Here you go, boys. 
Oh, no, you don't. You guys thinking of rowing out of here? I'll be right over with the boys. <laughs> this must be Leroy's weird idea of a life preserver. You ain't going nowhere, Shorty. Give me that horse. You got it, Captain Bly. <laughs> Whoa! When Leroy joins the jet set, he doesn't get around. Hey, I gotta get back to Cleo. Ahoy, Cleo! 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 You could yell for her all day. The current swept her clean away. Avast there, me hearties. We be searching for Cleo, the sweetest treasure in the sewers. If we look for her, we can get lost, too. Not a chance. All we gotta do is follow the rope back. We sail with the tide. Now Riff Raff has two of my boats, and I want them back. Luckily, I come to the sewers prepared. Aha! You never know when you're gonna need an extra boat. Yeah, I'll just follow the shortcut to where the current is taking that Cleo. Once I capture Cleo, trading her to Riff Raff and his bunch for my boats ought to be easy. Uh, I wish something would happen. The sewer ain't so bad, but it's boring. Maybe boring isn't so terrible. Better than a roller coaster! I'll be all right if the whirlpool doesn't suck me down inside! Cleo ought to be around here somewhere. Oops! Take advantage of a woman. Let go, Leroy. We're over solid ground. Hmm? There go the boats. Got you at last. What's with the handcuffs, man? I just saved your hide. Thanks a bunch, sweetie. But I'm still gonna trade you to riffraff for my boats. Yeah, but we're lost down in a sewer. And Riff Raff's not here. No problem. We'll walk back and find him. I have a map. Come back here! Chips are trapped! I, 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 I gotta get, I gotta get out of here! I gotta move on. There's nothing sadder to see than a watchdog with a broken mainspring. Besides, I can't get any more lost than I am already. Look! Cleo's footprints! I wonder where Leroy is. Who knows? It's a big sewer. Nobody around. Well, I'll just sneak aboard and be ready for them when they come back. Cleo! Hi there, Mr. Romance of the Sewers. Uh, hi, Cleo. Where's Leroy? I left him back at the Whirlpool. Didn't you see him? We left our ship back there, too. Come on, guys. Leroy! <laughs> this cage will keep him out of my way. Okay, men, spread out. You better start to think of this place as home. Help! I can't swim! 
Come on, boys and girls. Gotta do our good deed for the day. <laughs> okay, now. Everybody hold hands. Okay, Mongo, pull us in. We're following the rope, because Riff Raff ain't no dope. Trust me, there's nothing as romantic as a trip down a sewer. Hamsters need exercise just like you and me. When was the last time you exercised, Chubby? <laughs> Pipe down, small fry. As I was saying, exercise is very important to your hamster's health, both inside his cage and in an enclosed area outside the cage. Way to go, little guy. Boy, is he out of shape. 